You know, when the kids are having a conflict, I like to ask them to deliver their criticism in the form of a praise sandwich. And that's where we say something nice about the other person, we say our critique, and then we finish it off with another nice thing. Why don't we try that right now? Helen, why don't you start? You know what, why don't you go ahead and yourself? Rewind, let's, um... Oh, hey, you guys! <laughs> Just wanted to confirm, got you both working at the fair on Saturday. Sarah, I have you at a booth with Helen. And Trevor, I have you on musical chairs. <laughs> oh my God, no, I went to Yale. Well, all you have to do is help set up the chairs and uh, give each child a medal when they're eliminated. We're giving kids medals when they get out? Yeah, so everyone feels like a winner. Yeah, but in life, there aren't enough chairs for everyone. <laughs> well, uh, that might be the way they play musical chairs at Yale. But here at Parkview, we're going to go ahead and do things my way. How could you even say that? I am like the opposite of smothering. Oh, my god. Seriously? I was on the fire escape to get away from you. <gasps> OK, I hope you know you're saying that to someone who will absolutely marry you, even if you end up being crippled. Jeff, I can move my legs, OK? Doc, is that true? Can she really feel her legs? Uh, hard to say. Why don't you blow on her toes, see for yourself? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Orlando the Magician! Thank you. Good evening. For the next trick, even the slightest break of concentration could prove to be fatal. Orlando the Magician has been shot dead! This is tragic! Where, oh where is Orlando? You missed. Hey there, little lady. What do you say you and I go in the other room and I teach you everything I know about roping a longhorn steer? Luis, if we ever have sex, you would be unable to walk or talk for several months. I'm not poor, okay? And look at me. Woo! Look how perfect my rich life is. You want to see some scenes from my perfect life? My mom gets drunk off of passion fruit martinis and she says, Louis, if you want a nose job, I'll pay for it. And when I was 12, I asked my dad for some singing lessons. And he got Quincy Jones to call me and tell me that I had no talent. We should have found a way to get that money from my dad together, but you all betrayed me because I'm rich? Guess what? I'm not, I'm not just some rich kid. I'm Louis Plunk. And if you don't understand the difference, then, then maybe the Knights of Prosperity sucks. You know what, Dad? There's something I've always wanted to say to you. Kiss my bum. Ass! No! Kiss my ass! Ass! We're making ourselves a movie! Yeah! 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 You're simply 